Okay. So let me guess. Here's what happened. Here's it happened to me. You take your truck apart, maybe the entire truck to paint it, or just the tailgate, who knows. Oh, maybe there was beer involved when you took it apart, or it's been a year, months, or a decade since you took it apart. Now it's time to put it together. And you can't remember how all the little pieces, parts go together. I mean, hell, there's only like five of them. But it's surprising how many different ways it can go together. So we'll take a look at what we got here and how it's laid out. I'm doing it with the tailgate on. It's a little harder with the tailgate on. But I've got it laid out the way it should be. The latch facing toward the truck. There's not a right or left latch. They're the same. This rod going through it, just like that. I put a little tape on either end. Because when I feed it through the hole here, it's going to fall out and just tick me off. And that's just really, that's the cheapest, crappiest electrical tape I can find. So it should completely rot away and disappear in almost no time. And the same way with this latch. Make sure that's facing the right way. And it's coming up just like that. You'll notice this embossed, this boss thing right here is going to be facing up if you're doing it this way with the tailgate on the truck. Then you come over here in the middle, the rod coming from the passenger side is going to be on top when you stick it in here. Because when you slide this latch, the latch under, it'll be really hard to get to the other one. So. It'll be just like that. So I'll go ahead and feed them through. So I'll just take this guy and feed it through. I'll put my hand up here and find it. And just drop it in. Factory bolts, these are 5 16 bolts. I'm just replacing them with stainless because I'm kind of anal about this. We're not going to crank the hell out of it right now, I'm just going to snug it. Same thing on the other side. Just a little bit of never sneeze on here. And a little on my hands. So that way I smear it all over the paint. Okay, so I flipped the tailgate up. I've got this one. This one's from the passenger side. This one's from the driver's side. And if you look at the latch, it's going to bolt the one bolt down here and the two bolts on top. So it's going to go like this. And when you lift it, you'll see that this top one's going to go that way and the bottom one's going to go the other way. And you want them to pull. 
that means I had it facing down, so I was thinking backwards. So that means that the driver's side goes up on top. The passenger goes on the bottom. We'll stick that guy in there the top first because there's no way we'll get to it if we do the other one. I should tape my tailgate up so I don't scratch it, but no, I'm not going to do that. What are the odds I'm going to scratch it? Well, they're pretty high, so that's why I have like five gallons of this paint. So now the bottom one, I don't know what you can see. Let's come from over here. Now I'll get the bottom one in there. It's hard to line up. There we go. And it's popped all the way through. And they're really hard to get back out, so you don't want to do this wrong. Now you're there, and you'll get your bolts and bolt it in from up on top. Let's do that. So we'll just start them. And these are not the stock bolts. I have to do everything different. I might have to move it if this catches the edge, which it does. So I'm going to have to lower it a little bit. It just barely a little nick there. Like I said, you should have taped that. So the next thing you do is adjust the latches so they come out. Because the latches aren't right. So to do that, you just adjust these bolts and pull them out. better so the important stuff was the order of operations okay thanks for watching